breaking news right now at 6. Prosecutors have changed their minds and will seek the death penalty against Casey Anthony. It's the big development you saw first today on West 2 News. Good evening. I'm Jim Payne. I'm Mike Sadiaz and for Martha Sigalski. It's the question everyone following the case against Casey wondered. Would the state go ahead and seek the ultimate punishment for Kaylee Anthony's murder? And the answer is yes. Today, prosecutors filed their intent to seek the death penalty against Casey. West 2's Bob Keeling broke this big story at 4 o'clock and Bob, this news appears to have taken the bias camp a bit off guard. Well, uh, Jim, certainly the stakes are a lot higher now. Prosecutor Linda Drain Burdick saying that there are now sufficient aggravating circumstances for the state to seek death, but she did not offer specifics. But one criminal defense lawyer says Jose Baez has a good strategy and a key witness from right inside the sheriff's office. The state's got some big problems. Defense lawyer Richard Hornsby says one name sticks out in Jose Baez's new motion to subpoena phone records. Richard Kane, the Orange County deputy who's in the process of being fired for failing to follow up on Roy Cronk's tip about a suspicious bag in the woods along Suburban Drive. Kane is appealing. So he that Kane is called to testify for Casey's defense in what is now a death penalty case. Hornsby says Kane will present his actions in the best possible light. And he's going to say, listen, yeah, I went out there and there was nothing there. And the problem is that hindsight's 2020, and I think that a jury's going to be like, wow, one of your own deputies went out there and found nothing. Couple that with the testimony from Anthony's former private investigator, Dominic Casey, who searched that same stretch of woods in November three times and found no remains. And all of a sudden, Hornsby says, Roy Cronk's testimony for the prosecution might not seem so strong. They have the burden of proving their case beyond reasonable doubt. And you prove that body was put there after Casey Anthony was in jail. That's a huge reasonable doubt. Just within the last 15 minutes, I spoke to Jose Baez about the state seeking death. He told me we have been prepared from day one and we have death qualified lawyers on our team. We plan on making this a whole lot tougher for the state now. I exit.